2022 Toyota Tundra engines. What's the difference? When Toyota introduced the all-new second-generation Tundra in 2007, it came with the option of a 4.0 LV6, 4.7 LV8, or 5.7 LV8 engine. Through the years, Toyota shed the lesser engine options, leaving the Tundra with just the big 5.7 LV8. Now, the all-new third-generation 2022 Toyota Tundra makes a 180-degree turn away from the large displacement V8 engine were used to in favor of a pair of V6 engines. Under the hood of each 2022 Tundra is a 3.4L twin turbo i-force V6 engine. Limited, Platinum, and 1794 edition trims get the option of the hybrid i-force Max, and the TRD Pro is fitted with this engine standard. What exactly is the difference between these two new powertrains? Let's dig in and find out. But first, some housekeeping. Toyota refers to its new engines as 3.5L, when in reality the engines displace 3,445 cubic centimeters. Basic math rules would dictate that this figure be rounded down to 3.4L. However, as Toyota representatives freely admit, rounding up to 3.5L is better for marketing. It's likely we have Ford to blame, or thank, for this, as the company has been successfully marketing a 3.5L twin turbo V6 for a decade. 3. 4L twin turbocharged i-force V6 The, don't call it base, base engine for the 2022 Toyota Tundra is the aforementioned 3.4L twin turbo V6. This engine produces 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. To put this into perspective, that's 8 horsepower and 78 pound-feet more than the 5.7 LV8 it replaces. Toyota representatives tell us that they anticipate it'll get better fuel economy than the old engine. As well, though, let's face it, that's not going to be difficult to do. This engine features an all-aluminum block, 3,445 cc of displacement, a 85.5 mm bore, and 100 mm stroke. A chain-driven, dual overhead cam design is utilized to actuate the engine's 32 valves, 2 intake and 2 exhaust per cylinder, and it is equipped with dual VVTI, variable valve timing intelligence, systems. Aluminum cylinder heads are engineered for maximum boost and reliability, utilizing a two-layer water jacket structure for maximum strength and cooling. The heads also have machined cross-channels for even greater combustion chamber cooling. Intake valve seats have been enhanced by way of advanced laser-applied low-profile powdered metal. And the exhaust valve shape has been optimized for enhanced cooling. Water jackets near the exhaust valves work to cool the spent combustion gases before they enter the turbochargers, and this is further enhanced by the integrated exhaust manifolds. An air-to-water intercooler is also employed to ensure that incoming charge air is as cool and dense as possible. If you've noticed a theme with the new 3.4 LV6, it's all about cooling and reliability, both of which are critical when it comes to a truck engine. The 583 LBFTI Force Max The 2022 Toyota Tundra's second engine option is, drumroll please, another 3.4L twin turbo V6. However, this version, the iForce Max, is a hybrid that pumps out an earth-shattering 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. For comparison, this is 7 horsepower and 13 pound-feet more than Ford's new Powerboost Hybrid F-150, and only 67 pound-feet shy of Ram's insane TRX. So then, what exactly is the difference between the two engines? First off, when it comes to the base 3.4 LV6 engine, there is no significant difference. All of the additional power comes from the inclusion of the hybrid electric motor. Toyota opted to sandwich an electric motor and clutch system between the transmission's flywheel and torque converter. Toyota's goal was to provide more power and a diesel-like torque curve, so using a smaller electric motor and retaining a torque converter seemed to fit the project perfectly. The result, according to Toyota, is a driving dynamic with zero perceived turbo lag and peak torque coming on at just 2,400 revolutions per minute. 
The hybrid system is powered by a 1.87 kWh nickel metal hydride battery pack mounted underneath the rear seat and the system is able to propel the truck on only electricity up to 18 miles per hour. The iForce Max Hybrid V6 is only available as an option on Crew Max trucks on Limited, Platinum, and 1794 Edition trim levels. The engine is standard on TRD Pro models. iForce and iForce Max price and fuel economy. This is one area where we're just as eager as you to find out. As of now, Toyota has yet to release the official fuel economy figures or the price premium for the iForce Max engine. Toyota officials have said that both V6 engines will be more efficient than the outgoing 5.7 LV8, that's not hard to do, and that the iForce Max should prove more efficient than its non-electrified brethren. The all-new 2022 Toyota Tundra will come with the choice of two powertrains. Both feature a 3.4 L twin turbo V6 engine and 10 speed automatic transmission. The standard iForce V6 engine produces 389 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. This engine will be available in all trims with exception of TRD Pro. The premium iForce Max Hybrid churns out an impressive 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet which is 56 horsepower and 182 pound-feet more than the 2021 Tundra's 5.7 LV8. The iForce Max engine is available on Limited, Platinum, and 1794 Edition trims and standard on TRD Pro. Tundra pickups equipped with the iForce Max engine automatically get the company's new 12.3-inch TFT driver information screen and 14.0-inch infotainment screen. The new driver information screen is fully user configurable and can show information such as turbocharger boost pressure, labeled iForce, and hybrid battery status, labeled Max.